morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. It's breezy and 51. We'll see how it is outside. It's bright and sunny, but it might be chilly. Oh yeah, it's cool out here. <laughs> I don't know which came first, the lipstick or the sweater. <laughs> but I have lipstick that exactly matches my sweater. Oh, I forgot earrings today. Don't think I'm going anywhere. It's Tuesday. Good morning. Thank you for joining me for coffee. I'm Barbara, if I forgot to say that. Hmm. It's very fresh out here, and I might even stay out and do my yoga out here. Oh, this is my glasses holder. <laughs> Took those from my sister's though. Reminds me of my sister every day. <sighs> yep. For those of you who are new or missed August, I don't re I don't recommend going back and watching it. It was a, not a good month, but my sister passed away in August, and. Uh, but these were her glasses holders. So I have a little bit of her every day. And I have to say, I don't know why I was so reluctant to get this type of glasses holder um, prior to taking my sister's. Because I really like it. I really like it. My problem is my other glasses, the temple pieces are not very thick. And I have some idea that this won't work with them. But have I tried it? No. And I'm about to because I have beat these glasses up so much. These are actually my old glasses. Um, that they're starting to annoy me. So there you go. I will dig out my new glasses and see if I can use my holder. Good morning. My lips look very bright in my <laughs> in my screen. <laughs> I, uh, I watched an excellent, uh, revenge series quite some time ago, and I've watched it more than once, I have to say, called Gl The Glory. It's, uh, Korean, but it's dubbed, so I can knit and watch it. Um, but one of the characters in that story wants to sort of bloom a little bit. And she wants to wear red lipstick. And I wonder why I never wear, like, actual straight-up red lipstick. Maybe I should just try it. Because I do like red. And it is classic. It is classic. Um, I don't know anything about skin tone and what goes with what, so it's possible it'll look terrible on me. But... You'll let me know. I, I believe I can get an honest re response from you. Anyway, never mind. So I knit for quite a while yesterday. And, you know, as I'm going along, I'm like, well, I told you yesterday I wanted to finish up the pocket and attach the pocket to the bottom of the sweater before I moved on to the sleeves. Well, I did that. And then I thought, well, this is crazy. I'm only two and a half inches from finishing the whole body. And then I can take the needle off and that'll be that. And it'll be easier to live with, blah, blah, blah. So I started working on the rib. It's a one by one rib. And I decided to do a one a twisted rib, although it's um, half twisted. I'm only twisting the knit stitches, not the purl stitches. Um So, yeah. But I ended up with a headache last night, and so I stopped knitting. I thought I would be able to finish it last night, but I stopped knitting because I had a headache. So I'm expecting to finish the body of my Montrealer today the only thing that will be left to do will be there's a edging on along the pocket and I haven't done that and I expect to do that later although I guess I need to think about how important it is I might do it before the hood 
Uh, see, I, w I think I want to do it in the teal, and so I need to make sure I have enough teal to do it, but it won't take very much yarn. The one thing I had thought to do and didn't do before I attached the pocket at the bottom of the sweater was to weave in my ends because the pocket is um, striped back and forth because it's knit flat, the pocket. And I very foolishly <laughs> uh, did all my stripes an odd number of rows. Which means that my yarn ended on the opposite side that it started. And so carrying it did, wasn't really an option uh, or a good option. Well, I, and as I was going, I forgot that I would be um, doing this edging on the pocket. So I would have had it have too many balls of yarn, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I have a lot of ends to weave in on that pocket because of the odd number of rows in my stripes because I just cut the yarn every time I finished a stripe I cut the yarn and started over so I thought I shouldn't I should sew these ends in before I close this pocket because it'll be harder to do that once um, it's attached at the bottom and I didn't do that. So I have all these ends, but then I have this edging, which is really a tube. It's gonna be a tube, you know, you knit, knit it wide and then fold it over. So I can fold in all those ends um, if I wanted to. I'm not sure if that secures them enough just to be really long inside this little pocket so I have to think about it but I didn't do that and I I'm a little regretful but it's too late now so so I'm almost done with the body of my sweater and I'm feeling very good about that and I'm pretty sure I want to do the Sylvester I haven't printed out the pattern the whole pattern yet well I think I have it printed out and I have it somewhere because I did test swatches of the Sylvester right after I bought the yarn because I wanted to practice that stitch and that mosaic to see if I was interested in, you know, actually doing a whole sweater with it. And I thought it was interesting and it came out kind of cool. So somewhere there is a project bag with swatches and I think the second color that I bought to do that sweater and I like the yarn that I picked for this for the uh, colorful parts of that sweater so I need to find it and put it back in my stash because if I'm gonna do use the um, minis I won't need it but that was a fingering weight so I want to check the pattern because I do have a DK weight min, uh, advent from the Crafty Toads and if it calls for DK and I was just using fingering because whatever uh, I might want to try that and see what I think but I have to I have to print out the pattern anyway good morning So we had kind of a busy day yesterday. We had to take our car, our dog car stopped starting a week and a half ago. So we've been having only one car usable for the last week and a half. And uh, it, it, but that car had an appointment at the mechanic for today. So Dennis got the battery charger out in case it was battery, but he said the battery was 67% according to our charger. So he didn't think it was the battery. We thought it might be the starter, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I called AAA yesterday and they came out. I told them, I think we might need a tow. We probably need a tow. And so the tow guy came and he jump started the car and it started. So that's good. 
But that meant we both had to go because Dennis drove the dog car and I drove the red car. And um, anyway, so there was a bunch of stuff going on at home. So Dennis took the car because it was running because we didn't turn it off. And, um, and I had to wait till the buzzer went off so I could take some food out of the sous vide and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I followed him about 15 minutes later and uh, picked him up. And then we went to the store and got the dog food we needed, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, we were out and about and, and uh, it worked out good. Um, and the car is at the shop, so it should get fixed. And it doesn't need a starter. It only needed a new battery, so that's cheaper, <laughs> I think. I don't actually know. And, uh, but it'll be nice to have two cars available again, because there are times when we need both cars. Dennis had this idea when we were retiring that we would only need one car. I'm like, no, I mean, first world problems. We're lucky to have cars. I get it. But, um, I was doing a lot of trips to state college and that would have left him with no car. And certainly when his mother came to stay with us, we have to have a car in case of emergency. So, anyway, I thought he was mistaken that one car would be perfectly fine. So, <laughs> but it was okay for, whoa, it's windy here. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Wait. <come. laughs> oh, dear. All right, I got coffee on me. <laughs> my hair looks ridiculous. Oh my, whew. Hurricane? <laughs> anyway, that's what I did yesterday during the day. I made, and I did lemon peels, so I'm making lemon juice today. Dennis is making lime juice. He has a lot of things that he likes to have with lime. So he's making the lime juice, which is a little more complicated because it uses two kinds of um, acid. The lemon juice just uses citric acid. These are from Kevin Koss, K-O-S, um, YouTube channel. He's a bartender. He has a bartending channel and it's called Super Juice. And I've linked it before, um, but you can just search on YouTube, Kevin Koss, K-O-S, Super Juice, and you will find it. So anyway, so he's making lime juice today and I'm making lemon juice today and that'll be <laughs> the one project I know about today. And uh, I think he's making taco salad for dinner and I think his plan is to use his peppers in our meat sauce. So we shall see. His two little peppers and that'll be that. <laughs> They're not very big. But we don't know how hot they are. They're Malagata peppers, so the chances of them being hot are pretty good. We shall see. So today, yeah, we're, um, I suppose it's possible the car is done today. I'll go pick it up. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I'll be hanging out here. I'll do my yoga. I might do my yoga inside. I'm not sure. It's a little cool. Of course, well, my, I normally do it over there, but I could do it here in the sun, right? I was going to say, you know, my yoga chair is in the shade, but it's just like this chair. <laughs> All right. So my plan for today is to make my lemon juice and to finish my bottom ribbing on my sweater and that'll be the body done except for the trimming on the pocket and um, then it'll be time to get on sleeve island so I'm going to be starting my sleeves <gasps> that is just through the frisbee that's the first time Pearl has had a frisbee throw in almost two weeks week and a half so I'm sure she's a very happy dog, but she has not been limping at all. Now Dennis throws it in such a way that it rolls before she can get it. 
because uh, she, she, he, if she tries to catch it in the air, she throws her body around and then she'll really injure herself. So he's been throwing it so that it rolls at the end and she grabs it up while it's rolling. And that's how he plays Frisbee with her because she's too much of a maniac. And we had other Frisbee maniac dogs and both of them had to have knee surgery from injuries from playing, catching that Frisbee. So that's why he's much more careful now because maniac Frisbee dogs, big big maniac Frisbee dogs are in jeopardy of hurting their knees. <laughs> and we do a lot of things to try to save their knees because they're big dogs. So we have a ramp, they get in and out of the car. Well, they get in the car with a ramp instead of jumping up because Dennis is deathly afraid that they're gonna wreck their knee trying to jump into the back of the car, so. And then, you know, he gets out the Frisbee. Well, the Frisbee announced itself. I mean, the Frisbee got itself out. It, Pearl found it one day laying on the floor. It must have come down at the, off the shelf in the back closet somehow. And she found it and she never let go of it until we put it away because of her injury. Okay, now I'm rambling. <laughs> anyway, Pearl just got her first Frisbee in a week and a half, maybe two weeks. So she's feeling much better, much, much better. We're feeling very happy about how her shoulder is doing, so. And she's not limping in the least. I left a lot of lis lipstick on my cup. <laughs> Meanwhile, all right, I'm going to go. I'm going to do my yoga and uh, start my day. Work on my lemon juice. Meanwhile, please take good care of yourselves. Remember, Saturday is our Zoom, so put mark your calendar 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. Meanwhile, please take good care of yourselves. Stay safe and stay sane.